So the second trailer for The Mandalorian was just released. Now The Mandalorian is going to be, you know, a new Disney Plus uh, show that's going to be released in November. Um, and so far, the feedback, you know, for The Mandalorian has been very positive. People seem very interested in what this show is going to be about. Because the first trailer that they released for it, which was more of a teaser, I guess you could say, but the initial teaser had this very, very cool, just very mysterious, you know, edge to it. So it kind of felt to me more akin to like an original Star Wars movie just because you know in the original movies you had Darth Vader and the Emperor and Boba Fett and all these mysterious characters and it was it was kind of interesting to watch just because you didn't really know a whole lot about these characters but everybody always wanted to know more about them and so the Mandalorian when they released the teaser for that seemed very much in the same vein because it doesn't really show much you know that it's about this Mandalorian this bounty hunter but is it Boba Fett is it not um, so there's a lot of things going into it that feels very much like an old-school Star Wars movie Even though it's taking in this new kind of modern direction Now the second uh, trailer that just came out to me felt a little bit different while it still had a lot of the cool like kick a scenes and the, the really cool action sequences and some of the cool stuff that we've seen in the initial teaser the second one Seems a little bit more like it's going in the kind of like new trilogy format like where they have like the orchestra soundtrack to it because um, the interesting thing about the original teaser was that it had this very cool mysterious soundtrack and it just felt like it fit the vibe you know there's this lone Mandalorian out there who's doing his thing and who knows what the story is going to be but it really piqued a lot of people's interest uh, mine included I don't really have any love for the new Star Wars movies and the Rise of Skywalker just doesn't seem very inspired it just seems very Good, like it's going to be run of the mill, there's not going to be a lot of really in, anything interesting that's going to happen with it. So The Mandalorian really had my interest as far as that was concerned, but I'm a little concerned about this new trailer just because, for one, the music in the trailer just seemed like it was taking in a different, different direction. It didn't seem as mysterious or as cool and edgy as the original teaser, you know, had that really cool vibe, so it's just missing some of that. As well as, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out because it's impossible to tell until the actual series is released. But in this one, we actually hear the Mandalorian speak. And for whatever reason, it just felt a little underwhelming to me. And I think that was one of the big things where I was just like, ah, it just doesn't quite feel right. You know, in like the gaming universe and in Halo, right? Master Chief is the type of character where he doesn't speak very often, but when he does, you pay attention. Like there, he has something that's serious to say when he does. And so I didn't quite get that vibe, you know, from this new Mandalorian trailer. It'll obviously be interesting to see what happens when the actual show is released. But just from this trailer alone, I'm like, I just I just don't quite feel it. So it'll be inter interesting to see how they portray his relationships with the other characters and, you know, how that dynamic works. Because if he speaks too much, you know, if he's just doesn't have the right edge to his character, it's just going to be, it's going to feel very awkward. Because like in the original teaser, you kind of get this very mysterious vibe. It feels like kind of like this lone Indiana Jones silent, you know, hero character. And so if they break that and it just doesn't work well in the final show then you know you might run into some problems just as far as audience engagement is concerned but if they if they are able to pull it off and craft this very successful very cool and nuanced character that doesn't have to say a lot but still grabs your interest and is just written so well it'll be really cool if that takes off the ground partially just because the the, the new Star Wars trilogy has been such a letdown so if they're able to pull this off with the Mandalorian that would just be very interesting to see if they're able to make it work. But so far from the second trailer, it makes me a little bit worried. The new Star Wars trilogy has just lacked in the action department. None of the action scenes, part of it is just because of lack of character depth, um, but the action sequences themselves have just left a lot to be desired. You take The Force Awakens, for instance, the lightsaber duel between Rey and Kylo. I thought it was going to be really cool, but when I saw the actual film, I was just very disappointed. It just felt... Like, oh wait, was that it? Um, and so hopefully the Mandalorian will just be able to really kind of take that action side and, and just boost it, you know, and just make it really cool. It's like, yeah, this is the, the sort of action Star Wars movie or series that we wanted. So hopefully they're able to deliver on that. And speaking of action, I do have to admit that the second trailer for The Mandalorian really has some cool elements to it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that especially. Like, there's this really cool shot where The Mandalorian is being pulled by some alien animal and it... it Kind of, it kind of looks funny, but it's also like really cool. Um, and there's this other really, really cool shot where the Mandalorian is attached to a spaceship that's flying through the air, 
and you know he comes and crash lands onto the the cockpit and you know there's going to be some big action battle there so it'll just be really cool to see all of these action sequences and and how they play together so i'm just really hoping that the mandalorian nails it um, in the action department just because star wars really really needs that boost um, especially right now but the thing that's going to be crucial is definitely the character development of the mandalorian how do they pull him off is the voice actor going to be able to turn him into a good character that people will want to come back to and watch more. So that's going to be the interesting thing that comes from The Mandalorian. So ultimately, I'm still excited by the prospect of the show. I th I'm definitely going to get Disney Plus just for that, at least, just to watch The Mandalorian, just to see if they're able to pull it off. So I'm still excited. So when it finally does come out, we'll just have to see if it turns out as good as we hope it will. So yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.